Before November 3rd, the general election, some voters in Hines County got a chance to see what it might be like at the polls in a few weeks. I think it's a good day for everybody, young and old, to get out and then exercise their vote, you know, for the day. A special election was held in the House District 66 race between Bob Lee Jr. and the Keither Stamps. Hines County Circuit Clerk Zach Wallace says this runoff gives them a good run through before the general election. We have 14 precincts involved for that special election. So hopefully when we get that the way, we'll definitely be able to concentrate on the general election November the 3rd. One thing that will be a concern come election day, safety due to COVID-19. Since the governor lifted his mask mandate, it is not required to wear a mask when you go vote. Those who participated today were wearing their mask. Wallace says he hopes the same can be said come November. We can't make you wear your mask. You will not be turned around if you do not want to wear a mask. But just be cautious with, with others. So don't, don't only just think about yourself, think about others also. Some who voted say they just hope whoever wins gets things done in Hines County. I myself feel that there's a lot of things here in the Jackson metropolitan area, as well as the rural areas of Hines County that, that seek repair and upgrading. The polls end those runoff elections close at 7 p.m. Marcus Hunter, 16 WAPT News.